Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, April 19th, 2022 edition of the Sands Internet Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Mariester, Florida. DDA today took an in-depth look at Sysmon, and by in-depth, well, it went into decompiling a part of Sysmon to look into how it is exactly logging the Sysmon event ID 13, which is a registry event value set. Uh, the question here was originally, well, uh, if binary data is being uh, written, then Sysmon typically just logs a string says binary data. And if there is a way to actually get access to the binary data that was set here, well, uh, sadly, no, that's the answer from Diddy after decompiling the respective uh, driver in Sysmon. And the string here is just uh, fixed and set to binary data. Uh, that's the actual string, so there is no actual a binary data that's uh, being saved here by Sysmon, sadly. And one website you probably should uh, keep an eye on these days is the Ukrainian CERT. And now you may not specifically be targeted by some of the attacks they're describing here, but I find it fairly insightful, uh, some of the details and exploits that they are seeing used. For example, in some attacks targeting Ukrainian government organizations, a Simpra cross-site scripting vulnerability was leveraged. Simpra is the... Uh, on-premise uh, open source webmail system that uh, is somewhat popular for people who don't necessarily want to rely on uh, cloud services. They also see the use of iced id uh, iced id is typically more associated with banking malware but in general it is a crime where it can be used to steal credentials so certainly it can be used uh, for targets beyond uh, banking accounts which it was sort of originally created for I'll add links to the two articles. Now, they're only available in Ukrainian. However, uh, I find Google Translate does a pretty good uh, job in getting across the content of these fairly short posts. And NSO, the Israeli company behind the famous Pegasus spyware tool, and I believe NSO as a company actually is pretty much defunct, but apparently Pegasus, the spyware, keeps on giving. Citizen Lab has a new report out with details how a so far unknown vulnerability in earlier versions of iOS has been used against activists in Catalonia. That's not necessarily sort of one of the conflicts that shows up at the top of the list when you're thinking about uh, government surveillance and such. Catalonia is the region in Spain that's uh, sort of striving for independence. And apparently a number of activists and lawyers that uh, were involved in the fight for independence here have uh, been found to be infected with the Pegasus spyware. What's also interesting here is that in some cases, it wasn't the activist or politician themselves that was infected, but instead their periphery, like family members and such, that were targeted by the spyware. Well, interesting in upgrading to Windows 11, well, if you're looking for resources to do so, you may be directed to a website called windows11-upgrade11.com. This website, while it looks very much like any other Microsoft website, is not actually operated by Microsoft. What you get instead of the official upgrade tool is spyware. The spyware is attempting to exfiltrate browser credentials as well as crypto coin wallet information. As I'm recording this, the website is still up. Uh, however, at least for me, the download button didn't work. Don't have a window system handy, so I used my Mac. Maybe that's uh, why the download uh, didn't work, uh, or maybe the actual malicious file has been removed, apparently, according to the post that Bleeping Computer published based on information from Cloud SEK. That malware was delivered as an ISO file, which, of course, uh, is kind of what you expect if you're uh, downloading some kind of upgrade toolkit or such. Well, and this is it for today. Thanks again for listening, and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.